Today we're going to take a look at using an expression to help send out outgoing emails and change the recipient and the sender based on the system that you're on. So if I'm on prod or dev or test, I can make both the sender look different and the recipient be different. So I'm not spamming uh, customers when I'm doing tests. So I'm in the client tool. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a sample one step that I created. So I'm going to go up to one step. One step manager. I'm going to change my association to the incident object because I want to pull data from that incident. Then I'm going to go to my user folder and I have a sample dev email that I created here. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to right click and edit that one step. This is just a simple one step that sends out an email using the email action. So if I click on edit, to take a look at my message. So the body of the message is the same as you probably have seen before. It pulls data from the actual ticket and from related objects. So this is going to send to the customer and it's going to send a hyperlink to the portal so they can see their ticket. It's going to give them the created date and time, some text that we put in here. But the important things you want to take a look at are these two up here. First the from field and the to field. So if I right click on my system state email, I'm going to edit that expression and we've got a case statement here. If the current system stored value is equal to production, then I want to send to the current production email stored value or send from that name. If the current system is dev, then I want it to look like it's coming from the dev email sender stored value. And if the current stored value system is test, then look like it's coming from the test email sender. So this is taking advantage of stored values. So let me click on this first current system here. I'll hit my ellipses, which is going to take me to my stored value manager. And I've got one stored value called current system. And if I edit that, it just has the text dev there. So if this was my prod system, it would say production. If it was my test system, it would say test. So what we would do is take a czar from your prod system, move it over to your test system, and then come in here right away and change this stored value to the word test. And then any tests that we run, any emails that go out from that test system, they would look like they're coming from the test email sender, which is another stored value. So let me close that stored value and take a look at your test email sender. I'll edit that. So right now it's just set to admin email at company.com, but you would put in the test email that you folks want to use. So any emails coming out from Sharewell, coming out of that test system, would be from that test email sender. Same with the to field. We have a test system email recipient. If I edit that stored value, you would put your test recipient here. So every single email that came out of ShareMail, regardless of the process, or if you ran a one step manually, they would all go to the same recipient. So that way you're not spamming anybody, any true customers from the customer table. So let me cancel here. I'll close the stored values manager. And let's take a look at this one more time. So if the current system stored value equals production, it's going to look like it's coming from the prod sender. If the stored value is dev, dev sender, and so on. So let me cancel here and let's take a look at the to field. So if I right click and look at his properties, he has a case statement as well. So if the current system stored value is equal to dev, it's going to send to the dev email recipient. If the current system stored value is test, it's going to go to the test recipient, and if it's production or anything else, it's just going to be the default. So it'll actually send to the true customer. So dev system goes to the dev recipient, test system goes to the test recipient, and if it's your prod or anything else, if that stored value is anything else, it doesn't really care. It's just looking at these two values, these two possibilities. So if it's anything else, it goes to the true customer email. So that's an easy way for you to set up your systems so that you're not spamming your customers when you're doing any development or testing. Now the only downside to this is you have to go into every email in ShareWell and fix it up with these two values. But once that's done, it's now very easy to move a czar from prod 
to dev, to test, to stage, however many systems you have, and prevent you from spamming during your testing.